Today, we're going to walk you through the process of installing Kony Brick. For the purposes of this video, the installation will be Kony Brick buff on an accent wall, using a water resistive barrier, metal lath, and mortar scratch coat. Other methods may be used to install Kony Brick, but this is our recommended process to ensure a long lasting product. If in your own project you have windows, door frames, or other spots that you would not like to put the brick veneer, simply work around that area for the installation process. If you have corners that need to be covered in brick veneer, know that Kony Brick comes in both flats and corners. The first thing you'll need to do for this installation is prep your wall surface. As it's drywall, there could be dust or dirt that should be brushed away before beginning. This is the ideal time to measure your floor, ensuring it's completely level. Laying down a tarp or sheet is also a wise choice to catch any debris from the installation. After the wall is prepped for installation, you should attach a water-resistive barrier to the drywall. This barrier makes sure that any moisture will not penetrate the drywall, causing the potential for mold and a weak bond of the Kony brick. Starting at the bottom left-hand corner of the wall, place the water-resistive barrier WRB roll horizontally and roll out the first sheet evenly. Place the sheet so that it is tight and flat against the wall. Apply enough fasteners to hold the WRB in place until the metal lath is installed. Continue this process until the entire wall is covered. After you've finished installing the WRB, you're ready to install the metal lath. Beginning at the bottom left-hand corner, secure the metal lath to the drywall. The lath should always be installed in a horizontal application perpendicular to the framing. Apply the second sheet to the left of the first sheet overlapping, lath over lath, by at least one inch. Place the third sheet centered above the first two, again overlapping at least an inch. Continue this process until the entire wall is covered. This staggers the vertical butt joint seams and allows a more uniform dispersal of stress, thus reducing risk of cracking. After completing installation of the WRB and metal lath to your wall, you can start laying down the scratch coat. This is a coat of mortar that will help your Kony brick better adhere to your wall. We're going to be using type in mortar for this installation as it's the best choice for general application. However, you can also use type S or thin set if you desire. Mix the mortar with room temperature water and apply to the lath, using the flat side of a trowel to smooth it out. Apply a second, generous layer of mortar. Comb the mortar with the ridged side of the trowel in straight, horizontal lines along the wall. Repeat this until the entire wall is covered. You've done a lot for today, take a break and let the scratch coat dry overnight. Now that your WRB, metal lath, and scratch coat are all installed, it's time to get to the Kony brick. Mark your wall, vertically, in 3 inch intervals with a pencil. Using these markings, create a chalk line to guide you during installation. Since you let the scratch coat dry overnight, your chalk line should be clearly visible against the mortar. Repeat this step all the way to the top of your wall. This is an important step and will help you keep your Kony brick aligned as you complete your installation. Once you have your chalk guidelines in place, you can start to apply the brick veneer to the wall. Again, using type in mortar, apply a generous amount to the back of each brick veneer, making sure to cover the entire back side. Firmly place your first brick on the wall, starting at the bottom left hand corner, flush to the molding or ground. Wiggle the brick up and down a bit to get rid of any air that may be trapped behind the veneer. Hold in place for a few seconds to ensure the bonding process has begun. Apply the second one horizontally parallel, leaving room for a half inch grout joint, about a thumb's width. When you finish your first row of brick, begin the second using the same process. Place your first brick of the second row centered above the first two, creating a staggered pattern. Continue this method all the way up the wall. If you need to cut a brick veneer to fit the wall, we recommend an electric saw with a diamond blade. However, you can also use an angle grinder with a masonry blade or a hand saw. By the time you finish placing all your brick veneers on the wall, the bottom rows will be dry enough to begin applying a grout joint. Using your desired color of mortar, fill a grout bag, which is easily purchased at your local hardware store, and fill in the spaces between your already installed brick veneers starting in the bottom left-hand corner. This process should be done carefully, 
making sure to not get any grout on the face of the brick veneer. However, if you do get grout on the face of a brick, clean it as quickly as possible with a dry brush. Once grout has dried, it is very difficult to remove. Once the joints have semi-dried, go in with the back end of a brush handle or trowel to remove any excess grout. Once you've reached your desired look, let the grout joints dry and your wall is complete. The wall is now ready for anything your imagination desires. You can paint over coney brick, but know that doing so will void the warranty. You can also drill into this product to hang pictures, shelving, or lighting using a drill with a concrete bit. We hope you found this installation video helpful. You can always visit our website or give us a call with any further questions you may have about Kony Brick installation.